Hey guys, right. Uh, nearly a full week now with uh, a dodgy arm. Um, yeah, I've not been doing a lot, as you can probably gather, especially bike related stuff. My apologies for that. I guess some people are probably getting a bit, uh, I don't know, impatient. I don't know that I'm not doing bike stuff. It's been physically impossible, to be honest with you. I've tried. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is not set myself backwards. I say it's been nearly a week. I have been doing little jobs or trying to do stuff to keep myself occupied because I can't sit down and do nothing. I really, really struggle badly with that. But what I'm going to attempt to do today is try and at least get a little bit done on the BM. I'm hoping I'm going to have a friend turn up, I normally do, someone will turn up for a cup of tea that can probably help me for a moment or two just to hold things and do while I try and get to some sort of uh, gusset laid out on the BM so I'm going to clear all this off it's become a bit of a shelf for stuff look so I'm going to get all this cleared away uh, like I say hopefully someone's going to come across so I can pull this out and able to work around it a little bit but we'll we'll see how it goes it's, it's very frustrating trust me it is so so frustrating anyhow i have like i say i've been doing little bits i've um pulled these parts out as you remember the uh, oil pump lamp i made thought i might be able to do a couple of jobs on one of them at least clean some of the old paint off you know, just easy work where I'm not uh, lifting and pushing and pulling, which is where the problems are. <laughs> if I, as I stand here, I'm, I've got no pain whatsoever. But as soon as I go and like push something or pull on something or try and lift something, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. You can immediately feel that elbow, elbow trying to jump out again. So I've got to stop myself from doing stuff like that. I did make another bullet yesterday. Thank you everybody immensely who have bought bullet key rings and other stuff I'm selling, obviously. I'm in, I'm in survival mode with them idiots at the CSA. But Ayo, that's my problem. And I'm working around it. But I made a 50 cal bullet yesterday, actually, on, on the lathe, which ain't too bad. <laughs> Me show you. Look at that bad boy. To be honest, it's probably totally useless as a keyring. You wouldn't want that flapping about on your bike, but it's just a, a novelty item. And I spent quite a bit of time on that, actually. I made a stainless bullet head for it, and then a little bit at the end that holds the keyring look. And I've just put that on eBay. I've actually put that on bid up to see how it goes, because I have got more 50 cal shells which I might do that with. So yeah, that takes quite a bit of time, drilling the end out, making that little brass bit for the end for the actual key ring, drilling, tapping. Then I've actually got some uh, more bits coming to make bullet heads, so they look authentic. So, yeah, I enjoyed making that actually, because I'm in a, on a bit of a go slow, that took me all day. <laughs> it wouldn't normally take me that long. But I'm trying to keep going on little bits and not just sit there driving myself insane. Anyway, I'm gonna drink my tea and then I'm gonna to attempt to clean all around this BM up. Like I say, we gotta at least get something done. But I've got, obviously I've got the frames going on which is the most annoying part because I was doing so well on the catching up with them so so well like all the old tanks done for the next one all the bits are down there to put the next one together this one's nearly done obviously i got the back wheel in that as you can see down there to put the mud guard on everything was going so well of course there was going to be another spanner put in the works it's me <laughs> whoever's looking down on me is making it difficult I need to pack it in for a little bit let me get on <laughs> Anyway, let me drink my tea, stop rabbiting on, and see if we can do a little bit to the BMW. We'll see how it goes. Right, I've moved the table. Gotta try and get this out now. Somehow, 
This is heavy. Yes, that's heavy. Blues, blues on, uh, well, blues doing nothing is just watching. <laughs> Come here, mate. <laughs> Come on. Hello. What are you up to, eh? Probably no good. You're probably up to something, ain't you, eh? You'll be up to something. You know, try and pull this out with me. This, this has got to come out. Yeah. Figure it out. That's got to come out somehow with one arm. Don't quite know yet. Ooh. Actually, how about if we put that round something and do it that way? Let's give that a go, actually. Uh, that there. Come on, then. It's not a dog lead. You're not going to walk. Oh, that's heavy. Come on. This ain't happening, I don't think. Yes, it is. No. Oh dear, I must be stupid. Right, this is going to be the hardest end because of the fixed wheels. Remember me saying I was going to change these wheels? Well, it never happened. It, I wished it had now. to be able to walk round it. Get out there, yes. A couple of more of them, I think. I'll be all right. Now I'll get round it, jack it up so I ain't bending down. Clear all the table. Try and get something done. Right, this end again. Might be best doing it from the bottom, actually. <sighs> oh. Let's try that. <sighs> hey, that's working. Stop that from getting tangled up. Oh, is that one free? What's that connected to? Nothing. Oh, that's got hooks on. That might be better. We have a hook. Aha! Yes! That's better. That's the one. One more. <laughs> it won't budge. Oh no, let's try something different. Let's try that. Come on, you great big... I don't know how I'm going to put it back. Is that going to do? One more. No, that's not going anywhere. That'll do. <laughs> right, I should be able to jack it up at that. There we go. Done it. Right, 
I'm going to clean the bench off. Finally get to sweep up where the bench was. Uh, let's see if we can do something. Something's better than nothing. I am being careful, by the way. I know people are going to go, stop it. You shouldn't be doing anything. Yes, I know. But I can't. I can't do not, nothing. Nothing. Can't do nothing. Can't not do anything. However it goes. Whatever that makes sense. <laughs> nothing. I don't know what I'm saying. Right. Right, we have a clean bench at last. Whew. Right. Um, I'm going to start with, I've changed my mind. I'll give you all a minute to laugh and uh, shout at the TV or whatever you're watching it on. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the gussets for the rear end. So if you remember way too long back, I was using these. I was going to use these. But I have changed my mind. <laughs> I'm now going to salvage some bits off this old subframe which I think I think is off a Yamaha ha, ha, ha. and they are a bit better and I've already got some decent mounting points which I'll only have to make lugs for the bit on the frame then so I'm gonna strip all this out get the plastic under tray off it and basically cut all the unwanted brackets off and see how we go with that because it is a much better shape as you can see that we've got a nice curve in that although you're not going to be able to see these from the outside because I'm going to make the number boards and things I just think it's a, a better bit of material it has got some um, like rib nuts inserted into there but I can grind them off and weld the holes up because they won't be needed this bracket here can come off these like, little grab rail type things or whatever they are can come off and then we can chop all that off and see what we've got it probably won't need to be that long but if I get it all free to start with see how we go I'm not quite sure I'm going to be able to old things and do the grinder but we're going to give it a go i may have to get that end out if it's got to be shortened and then we'll insert the end back in when we've got it the length we want it so to start with we'll get the plastic off taking it easy not pushing it no one get mad at me because i've got to keep going Oh, that's handy, they're loose already. How about that? Nice. That makes a change, at least we ain't fighting with them. But yeah, and that one's loose. So this has obviously been off. Right, first of all, we've got one more fixing holding it on. And that's loose. Well, that's a bonus. I didn't need that to wrench it. How about that? Come on, come on out there. Ah. Yes. Ooh. You'll probably see a little bit better now. So that bit there. Uh, Right, I'll try, have a go with the grinder and if I cut it through there and there, at least we've got it off and then I can deal with these bits. So let's give that a go first, we'll see how we go. There's one. Let's grab that. 
<coughs> Ooh. There we go. Stop trying to catch things. <laughs> go on, fall. Right, that's better. Got a good curve in that. And then we've got that proper end on it. That will tidy up, I reckon, like I say, I reckon it's going to have to be shortened and placed back in, which ain't no bother. Let's just get the other one off to start with. And then we can throw the other bit outside out of the way. Easy! Oh, that wasn't too bad. Right, this can go on the scrap pile. Behind me for now, right, what we got here? So basically, we've just got the stump of that to tidy up and that bracket to get off. Don't look too bad actually. And we'll see what we can uh, achieve with them. I reckon it'll be all right. See if that'll come out as well. Where did I put my uh, pokey pokey tool? There. Oh, easy. Should come out. And it's out. There we go. Clean bit of tube look. Superb. Right, oh, let's see what we've got to do for the next bit. Right, I think that's going to work out just fine. So, let's get around this side. I can hold it better that way. <laughs> Bit of an angle change up here. Shorten it. I think that's going to be good. This material's a bit deeper as well. So with 20 mil on that plane, the same as this tube here. And I think we're about 25 on that face, which will help with a bit more strength, actually. So, if I get somewhere near, get right to the back there. Try and get it roughed out a little bit. On that right down there, don't I? Far down as possible. Ooh. I know I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna take off to put that lug back in. Let's cut that angle first. Oh, that's that angle cutting. I'm gonna, I am gonna put it right to the back up here, because that'll give us uh, more strength going further back. And then the seating area where my big fat bottom's gonna be, that will spread the load. I'll say so we'll go as far down here as I can get it we should be good should be good like that so what I'm going to do now is uh, oh, mark a pen mark that about where I'm going to cut it off so there 
Then we'll dig this out because I'm thinking that probably comes down in the tube a bit. So if we dig that out and then I can weld it back in when we've trimmed it off. Right, let's chop this off then. And then we'll see what we've got to do to get that lug out of there. Nearly missed the hole. We might have still miss that hole yet. That might need to be trimmed off. Let's see how that goes. see down there oh no it looks like it's just welded to the end okay oh well, we should be able to just shape that up then hmm I don't know we'll figure it out <laughs> we'll figure it out If I uh, start grinding the welds off, we should be able to break it out of there. Unless I cut it straight and just weld it all up. That might be better, actually. Let's think about that one. Right, looking at it, I am. I'm going to cut it straight. So it gets tricky holding smaller stuff. <laughs> well, we'll be good. There we are. No. Oh, it is a little bit of an insert, not much. See, I thought that would have been a bit longer and went down the tube a bit, but no. Well, at least we can see what we're doing now. We'll probably just weld it in like that. That'd be all right. All right, we'll see how much more we've got to take off that for that to land nicely onto the bit where it's going to bolt to. And then I will dress it up a bit nicer than that. That's a little bit rough. So we'll make that look a lot better. As you can see that, it's quite rough. Right, done a little bit of marking up. And where we've got to cut it gets rid of one of the holes, which is good. that's going to be just fine absolutely spot on that'll be I reckon then I'll tack that on and then I can dress it all up so it's nice and neat so we've got it a bit better than what it looks like there yeah that way that away All right, we'll get the tacky tacky machine on the go and tap that in place. All right. Oh, I'll stop pressing the button, you fool. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Is it best going to be like that? Yeah, I think we'll hold it like that.
Let's get all the corners. Right, we'll dress that lug up now, make it look a bit better, and then I'll weld all that in properly, and then dress all that up so we can't see the join. I'll say I've chamfered it all in, we'll get a good hot weld in there, and that's going to be strong enough. All right, grinder. Well, moving forward a little bit. I've had a couple of visitors and a catch up. So, before I end today, I'm hoping to get all this tacked on in place on the bike at least. So, that's all sorted, obviously. I'm just going to lay it across the top of the other one, which I've already dressed up, and got all the uh, unwanted bits off it. So hopefully we'll uh, get this done pretty quick. Uh, where's that going to come off? About there, I think. That's it. Oh, that looks about right. Oh, let's cut that up. the other bits put on from top. I'm going to get that welded up, dressed up, and then we'll start lining everything up on the bike. Get these punched out and uh, welded up them holes as well. There's two in this one to do, but only one in that one. So we'll get that done as well. Some little brackets salvaged off that uh, old uh, subframe. But literally everything here we've got here is salvaged off that Yamaha subframe, which ain't a bad thing. So all I've got to do now, sure that's a little, it's a little bit warm, so I've just cut it. Uh, I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's still warm. Ow! Right. Come on. There we go. 
So, <laughs> bear with me, I'm trying to be careful here. My gammy arm. Uh, about there, so I need to cut more of an angle up here. And I'll be able to tack that all in place. Not bad. Okay, I am happy with that. That's all trimmed up now. The other one's all cut the same size. I've just got to cut a bit more of an angle on the other one as well. And that should land them both in the same place. Should do. Tack that bit on first. Come on, Wilder, don't let me down now. We've had a bit of a burn back on that. There we go. Try that again. Oh, it's been a bit funny. Ah, do it's in place. Right, I'm going to quickly tack the other side on and then we'll try the mud guard and everything back in place to make sure everything is going in the right direction. Right, that's both of them just tacked on. What I've got to do now, I've got to trim a bit off the mud guard to go past the, the struts that we've just put on. What I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to cut it with a grinder and then uh, tidy it up afterwards. I'm going to just cut little bits. I want to try and do the minimum of cuts that's needed. Probably a little bit more than what I've... Uh, is that there? Oh, well. I've marked it out. I'm going to cut to them little bits off first and see how we go and keep trying it so like I say I'm cutting the minimum off that's needed just for it to slot in place right Just try that, see if that's going to go in. So I'll dress it all up afterwards. Need a little bit more off. A little bit more. That's a little bit more off. Let's give that a try. Oh, that looks like the one. Yep, definitely. That's the one. Let's get some bolts in that. Uh, 
Hey, that's spot on. There we are. Right, there we go. Not a bad day, not a bad day. First day back on proper work. And it ain't too bad. The arms got a little bit of a heartbeat going on. <laughs> but it's not bad. I'm, I'm certainly not pushing it to put the healing process in reverse. Put it that way. I need to get it better so I can really get back up to full speed on all these jobs. Especially the frames. That's, that's one thing that really, really annoyed me. Because I was going so well on them. And... Uh, I've got to get back up to speed on them and get them finished. Maybe by the end of this weekend coming, I should be somewhere near done them if this continues to, to feel okay. <laughs> and the silly old fool doesn't fall over in the garden again. Mind you, we've got no snow forecast, so I should be okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, I won't be walking up that slope when it's snowing again. No way. Anyway, I think next on this, see, I'm going to do some extra gussets on these little brackets that we just put onto the frame. Can't have enough gussets, so I'm going to cut some pieces, like little triangles, and weld them in. But I shall linish all them in so it, the bracket looks like one big piece. Uh, then remove it all, remove everything, get everything welded up properly, and then put it all back on the bike to make sure it's all okay. And then... I think I'm, when I put it back on the bike, I'm going to put the airbox back on because the airbox actually comes like wraps around the shock, so you can't really see the shock from looking at the side of the bike. Because I also want to make a little bracket for a rubber mud flap that protects this face, the back face of the shock, from any sort of debris coming off the back wheel. But I'll figure that out as we go along. One of the next important jobs as well, I've got to order the uh, steel tube for the exhaust. I know we, we're using the standard front pipes, but then I've got to make sort of this two into one and then bring it up eye level. So we've got the silencer up in this area somewhere, obviously round this side, because that's the best place to bring it up where the shape of the swing arm is. So I want the silencer rod up here, like a motocross bike. I think I need to do that before we make the side panels. So we make the side panels so they've shaped around the silence are nice. And I think I've said before, that cardboard cutout I done is not how it's gonna end up. It is just to give everybody an idea that it's gonna have side panels on it. I shall make the side panels in some sort of like nice modern shape to suit all the other bits that I've put on the, the mudguard, the front mudguard, the light. So I am gonna design the side panels, they're not going to be like full size like on a motocross bike, but sort of a smaller version like off a modern KTM or something like that. But I'll figure all that out when we get to that bit. So there's still a hell of a lot to do on the back end of this. Um, I'm just going to plod away at it bit by bit, not push myself because I've really got to have this arm get back up to speed i don't want to reverse that healing process like i say i think uh, i think that'll do i'd say i think it's about eight o'clock so i ain't done too bad today i'm much happier that i've put a good day in because it's been driving me absolute crazy not being able to get on bikes it's been driving me nuts so yeah i'm happy with today really pleased yeah uh Again, the other stuff's going to go on in the background, the frames, like I say, and try and get the main focus back on this because I'm really, really looking forward to getting onto the side panels and stuff. I'm really looking forward to that. And the seat pan, obviously. I've got a friend coming round. My mate who's got the other GS who's doing lot bits with. He's coming round to mess around with his footrest that i done. That little modification I've done in his footrest. He's coming round tomorrow to mess about with them. While he's here, I think I'm going to get this off the bench. Try and get all this subframe all welded up properly before he comes and back on. And when he's here, get this off the bench. I don't want to try and tackle this on my own because it's... It's a fair old chunky bike, and if it starts falling, I don't think uh, my arm's going to be 
strong enough to stop it falling if it slides off here or something. So yeah, I'm going to wait for him to come and get this on the floor for the first time and see what it looks like. I'm looking forward to that as well. Anyway, it's all going in the right direction. I'm much happier now. Like I say, I've been going crazy not being able to do anything on this. So I'm pleased to get to something done, at least today. Well, no, it's not a lot, but it's something. I think that'll do me. A massive thank you to everybody again. All the comments and everything. I've been trying to chip away through them. Much, much, much appreciated. It really is. Much appreciated for all you guys that have bought another bullet key ring. That's an great help that is and it to, i'm a bit happy with that because you're getting something in return but it helps with everything in here and that is really appreciated guys much much appreciated anyway i think that'll do i'll say it's about eight o'clock so i'm going to call it a day and see what goes on tomorrow cheers for watching guys take care